Hey y'all, I'm here with another reading for the collective for today. It is September 26th. So let's go ahead and see what the messages have for the collective. All right. So first you have the hangman. All right. So seeing things from a different perspective. I really think that a lot of you guys may need to take some time to just relax or think all right yeah we have the magician think about what it is that you're manifesting at this time what you're bringing into reality at this time we got the star card all right some of you guys may be going through a healing phase or you're healing your faith or faith is being restored as it pertains to your dreams and what you're bringing forth what you're manifesting here Wow, the Empress. I love this deck. Every time I use this deck, nothing but major arcanas come out. I promise you. The Empress. So your life is evolving at this time. Your life is shifting. A major shift is happening as it pertains to... <sighs> what is calling for your attention? Okay, some of you guys could be recovering from having a baby at this time. Some of you guys may be pregnant. You may be due in February, March, April. Yeah, we literally have Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries here. Mm. Ten of Wands. So there needs to be some burden lifted, see? And that's why I said initially with the Ten of Wands to the Hangman, some of you guys need to take a rest. There's a rest, a resting period. Some of you guys may have just been on go with the Chariot here at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Wands going towards your, you know, new opportunities get into that bag with the ten of pentacles maybe a lot of you guys have a large overhead and maybe you don't have moments of silence it's time to create that for yourself because it's only going to get better and you don't want to be in a, in a position to where you're feeling overwhelmed to where you can't receive and navigate the blessings that are coming in uh-huh ten of swords here we got Gemini and Sagittarius. These are opposite signs. So 1010 is very significant. <clears throat> you guys could be seeing that a lot. Or some of you guys could be uh, Libras. We are in Libra season. So some of you guys are going into a new manifestation. Maybe you just finished cultivating something. Now you're it's ending and you're going into something new. Knight of Pentacles, all right, for the star. King of Pentacles, things are going to be moving slow or seemingly slow, but this is because God is wanting you to connect with him or her or it, however you see God. Pure source energy always moving forward. It's time for you to connect. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to raise the frequency as your faith is concerned because all the things that you felt were delayed in the past, they're coming back around. They're coming back around and you're going to need to be ready to be ready to be ready. Some of you guys, your financial, um, your finances are being healed. And you're realizing your dreams, you're realizing your purpose through this stillness, through this major pause. Some of you guys don't expect your healing process to be like quick or fast all right let it move slowly but stay determined all right clarify the empress wow the ace of cups Whew. this is definitely a baby this is definitely a baby it is baby making season some of you guys Maybe finding out you're pregnant. You may already be pregnant. Um, you may have just had a baby. 
Um, this is also new love coming in. So I feel like for some of you guys, um, if you've been searching for love or um, seeking to attract love, it, it's coming in for you. Some of you guys may be a single mother, but I see um, I see a union coming into fruition. Something about a single mother, but you attract an eligible guy who gives nothing but love and loyalty to you and your child. This could also be you simply pouring into yourself, loving upon yourself, letting God's light radiate through you so much so that when people see you, they see the light of God, source, energy. It's like really pure, it's really beautiful, it's really stable, it's really lighthearted, it's very mature, it's very secure. It's giving cup runneth over with the Empress and the Ace of Cups. You have so much love to give. If you are manifesting a partner here, definitely start using the um, the gift of visualization. And I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of that other practice. But it's sort of like, let's say you're home or you live alone and let's say you're cooking dinner, all right? Make it as if you're cooking dinner for two. Take out two plates, all right? Let's say you have dressers or drawers. Save a drawer or leave a drawer empty for your person. Have an extra toothbrush or something like that is what I'm picking up. A King of Wands could be coming in or a Gemini, all right? Okay, I'm, I'm hearing I choose you. Yeah, they're coming in with a full-fledged commitment. This person could be some sort of leader or thought speaker or something like that. This person, hmm. There's something about doors of opportunities. And there's something that you're going to learn from this person. Or you're learning a significant lesson in love in general from a, a king of wands <sighs> let's see what else <laughs> what else for the collective what other let's just do the romance angels because this is not going to be too too long let me see all right Messages for the collective for today. Messages for today. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Mm. So a lot of you guys with this star card in the Knight of Pentacles, you could be healing from codependency issues. You could be healing some sort of um, addictions or bad habits that could have been affecting you in the past or even the recent past. Here, you're manifesting a pure, a more stable and clean lifestyle here with the magician and the empress. Some of you guys, you've always known you were the empress. You've always known you were the emperor. There were just certain things that were affecting your romantic life to where potential partners could not see through the illusions through the addictions through the um codependency here maybe in the past you came off very clingy but that's being healed yeah you deserve love you are lovable yeah maybe you guys dealt with people who didn't see that through your your mishaps or through moments of being in the valley, I get this, you know, we've all been there, but now you are blossoming into a beautiful empress or handsome uh, emperor. Yeah, we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I'm just really getting this as far as separation from codependency, honestly. This doesn't have to be pertaining a specific person. For some of you, it may. And with the Empress and the uh, Ace of Pentacles, new love is coming in um, post a separation. But the, for others of you, this is you. 
releasing that burden of addictions ending it ending it all okay i literally just got an image of somebody throwing all their drugs out all their liquor out like just pouring it down the drain no more weed no more cigarettes no more vape like it's just done you're you're healing you're becoming a new mm -hmm. you're being baptized here spiritually a spiritual baptism All right, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yes, yes, yes. All right, letting go of control issues. Letting go of feeling like you need this said thing. Whatever it is that you may be um, addicted to, it's like letting go of it. Like at this point, it's controlling you. You no longer have control over it. So separating yourself from it. Separating yourself from someone who's attached to you or you attached to someone. We got, excuse me, we got deception here. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Um, this is clarifying you deserve love. So somebody definitely was deceiving you or making you feel as though you didn't deserve love because of your addictions or because of your um, attachments. Attractions. <laughs> attachments or your fears to let go of attachments somebody has a fear of you letting go of these these addictions somebody doesn't want you to they this is somebody who kept feeding you the liquor or feeding you the drugs or feeding you the pills feeding you the porn okay but now you know you're separating from this you're creating distance all right you're you're creating a sacred space for yourself some of you guys may need to create an altar for your ancestors, your spirit guides, for the most high, for yourself. Something about a self-love altar as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely giving a self-love altar or like a beauty altar. All right, pouring into yourself daily. One more. One more, please. I'm rooting for you, Collective. You got this. Look, wedding. This situation involves a marriage. You could be separating. You could be married and you're separating from someone. Or you could be separating from a married person. Someone who put you in a third party situation. But you have, you deserve love and love yourself first. So right now, this is this is energy around putting yourself first. Loving yourself first. Understanding who you are. Understand, understanding that your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. All right? I love you guys. Peace.